What's going on, gardeners? It's Abundant Gardening here today, and I'm going to share with you how to plant petunias from seed. So here you can see I have this Garden Party Blend Hybrid Petunia that says they get up to three inches from botanical interests. And according to them, I get 25 seeds. I've already checked and I counted. I got 40 seeds in this little packet, which is just amazing. So today I plan on sowing uh, these and you get a lot of great information from Botanical Interest, which is why I really love their seed packets. And it's a shame that I didn't order more seeds from them. But all is all, and I'll show you now how to plant these seeds into your seed starting mix. Um, if you uh, haven't seen my video on seeds, how to make your own cheap seed starting mix, go ahead and check that video out on my channel. Uh, I will I walk you through the two basic ingredients you need, and if you want to use a third ingredient to supercharge it. So, I'll take these seeds and open this packet up. And as you can see, these are actually pelleted seeds. It's kind of hard to see in there but I got a bunch of pelleted uh, petunia seeds. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put two seeds in each cell so that I can ensure uh, you know, a plant coming up in each and every single cell. So I'll go ahead and do that. So, there you have it. That's all you need to do in order to plant petunia seeds. And then what you'll do is just gently press them into the surface as light aids germination in petunia seeds. So you just go ahead, gently press them in. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little sprayer bottle here and spritz the top so that it remains moist after I go ahead and do that. So now I'll take a spritz bottle and go ahead and go over. Yeah, maybe I need to add some water. <laughs> I'll be right back. Now what you do is just go ahead, lightly spray over the top just to settle the seed in and to make sure it is sufficiently moist. As you can see, you can still see the seed laying there on top and that's all you really want is it just barely pressed into the surface just so it is either barely covered or that you can still see the seed. Now what I will do is go ahead and add this to my uh, seed starting setup, which I will show you right here. As you can see, I have a germination station. And what I did is just I have a aquarium heater to heat the bottom up and heat the soil up. And I'll go ahead and put it under the humidity dome so that this stays moist. All you have to do is make sure the top does not dry out until you see the seedling sprout. So that is all to what you need to know in order to sprout these uh, petunias. And if you don't have pelleted petunia seeds, no worries. The steps are just the same. So until I see you in the next growing guide, get on growing. These are my petunias after five days of growth. They've just started to germinate. There's one right there that's germinated. Right there. And then in this cell, right there. So that's exciting to see after only five days. And this is a day six update. As you can see, most of the cells have sprouted all uh, all the seeds, I planted two in each cell, and I actually planted some more over there in those three. So it looks like all but seven seeds have sprouted so far. So that is exciting. Also one note I want to make is that the soil temperature is approximately 72 to 74 degrees. If your soil is cooler than this, 
then it will most likely take a couple more days for you to see growth like this. And this day 8 update will be the last of my updates. As you can see, most of the petunias have sprouted. It looks like only 4 seeds have not sprouted. One in this cell, that cell, that cell, and that cell. As you can see, it almost looks like there is a petunia sprouting right there. Um, so I'm going to say it's just started it's a little bit slower than all the others So after approximately one week to eight days in my case, this is how your petunias should look They have not developed their first uh, true leaves yet But if you look really closely, you can almost see that they're starting to grow in and Then I also planted some regular petunias just to see how they'd work uh, four cells here and it looks like they're finally starting to uh, pop up But the thing is I probably put 20 seeds in each and so far only about uh, Two to three per cell are popping up So it looks like that botanical interest seeds are very well uh, Tested I didn't get quite get the 80% but pretty close and so that's it for this petunia growing guide. If you want to see more growing guides in the future, including on peppers, tomatoes, and even some flowers if you want, uh, please go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next growing guide.